From that, we are going to hear another speech, and this is coming from civil society organizations represented by the executive director of uh, Legal Aid Forum. Metre Kananga Andrews. Thank you, Dennis. Um, good evening, uh, Honorable Chief Justice, um, the Prosecutor General, uh, the Vice Chancellor of the University of Rwanda, the Principal, deans in the room, uh, the protocol as it is established this evening. Uh, I don't want to dwell much into protocol, but um, also my speech will be short. I don't have a written speech, so you can imagine I won't take long. First of all, I would want to thank the University of Rwanda School of Law, the College of Arts and Social Science for having associated the Legal Aid Forum in the organizing this event. Uh, ours was really like contribution, uh, which uh, makes sense in the way that uh, the Legal Aid Forum is a partner uh, of the School of Law for a long time. Uh, the School of Law through um, what now they call the Center for Mediation. Uh, at the college, at the, at the school, is a member of the Regulated Forum, and we've been working together for many years to make sure that people have access to justice. And uh, with that, I think the Regulated Forum, uh, as part of the projects you are implementing, by the way, I also stand here as the chief of party of a project funded by USAID, and we've been able to support in some ways. Um, and uh, thank you for associating uh, us in this, into this, and uh, we are very grateful. I think mine is, um, um, I want to talk about two things. First of all, I want to uh, thank students for the interest they have in human rights. Myself, I'm a human rights lawyer for over 20 years. And um, I always um, want to engage with young people on human rights, especially from the African continent. It's very important to see young people, you know, gathering, Kigali, debating on this important subject matter. And I think Kigali offers a very good opportunity for young students to learn. We are a country uh, that has gone through a lot of human rights violations, including the genocide uh, that happened, that took place in this country, genocide against the Tutsi. There is a lot of history um, behind whatever we do as a country, and uh, trying to look forward, moving forward as a country, uh, because what happened here can be a lesson to many of you as I've seen you come from different African countries. I, have, uh, I, have, I want to challenge you. Um, as, as the director said, we don't, I think it's very rare to see many of the lawyers you know, being enthusiastic about human rights. And that's why I'm excited to see young people you know, having interest in human rights. But I think as Africans, this is what makes this very unique because we are discussing our own situations. I've heard and I've seen countries some of which are going through a lot of, uh, a lot of issues that I think this is a good platform for you to discuss. It's a good platform to borrow belief from each other. How are we dealing with human rights in South Africa? How are you dealing with human rights situations in Rwanda, Kenya, as the director said, Uganda, West Africa, those who came from West Africa? I know these are, uh, we have different issues within the continent that deserve the attention of young people, that deserve the attention of leadership of our countries. And um, although human rights may seem not to be to many lawyers, especially uh, those who have gone to corporate, but I can tell you it's very important. Democracy and governance is embedded into human rights. When you want to be a democratic state, nation, then everything starts with the human rights. Even the corporates, where you make a lot of money. She mentioned the e extractives, which is causing a lot of harm, which is causing a lot of trouble on the African continent. You all know what is happening with mining in, in all African countries. So I think this is um, an important topic uh, that students, uh, I think, um, if you really want to become activists, human rights actors, this is a a good opportunity as we had from the director. I was in New York last week where um, SDGs were being reviewed. And one of the important SDGs, for those who know SDGs, is SDG 16, 
which talk about peace, justice, and inclusive society. I was shocked. It, it didn't actually come as a surprise to me that SDG 16 is one of those indicators that is ranked the lowest in terms of, because it's about democracy, it's about inclusion, it's about justice, it's about peace. Do we have peace on the continent? Do we have issues of peace? Do we have issues of injustice on the continent happening? So that SDG 16 is an indicator. And when I saw countries we are presenting, I think some of your countries we are presenting what we call for international reviews. We did not present, we presented last year. But sitting in the UN room listening to what is happening and the presentation some of our governments are making, they don't reflect the reality. I should tell you as young people. But with you, with the passion you have for humanity, peace, justice and inclusion, everything is possible. So I want to end my speech here, um, unprepared, but I think um, human rights is something that is at my heart, and I'm happy to see young people, especially young people. And I was telling my office when they were taking to me, we want to support, and I was saying, yes, we can support, but our support will go mainly to what these young people who are coming to Moot on Human Rights will be doing. I thank you very much, and um, we are looking forward to see who will be the winners, and I guess all of you will be the winners, huh? I guess all of you can win. It's also possible because we are discussing human rights. Thank you very much and have a lovely scene, Rwanda. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Andrews. Uh, he's talking about a very important uh, concepts, which I think this morning were also mentioned by the Vice Chancellor who talked about. Uh, some principles, democratic principles. He talked about constitutionalism in general and the governance. And by the way, the vice chancellor we have probably in the discussions that we have, we are talking about uh, corporates and we are talking about human rights. So he's coming to complement our discussion as a corporate lawyer now. And he's going to not to defend maybe what the corporates are doing,